90% of the men that come into my program are dealing with women who have narcissistic or borderline personality disorder. 90%. The other 5% are trying to save their marriages. The other 5% are just really upset that their girlfriend left them. But 90% of the men I'm dealing with are dealing with narcissistic personality disorder. And I know it's thrown around a lot. People like to say, hey, this person's a narcissist all the time. Yeah, everybody has these tendencies. The fact that you see yourself separate from God means that on some level you think you are God and you know better than God, which means that you, in fact, have narcissistic tendencies just like I do, just like everybody does. But the difference is, is a narcissistic person has no empathy. The borderline does have empathy, but she's driven by her massive fear of abandonment. And so guys, they get wrapped up in this. And this woman dangles this carrot of a promise in front of him. If you do what I want, then I will be the woman that you want. She puts the mask back on. When you first dated her, you realize, oh, she's amazing. She's everything I wanted. This is awesome. But it takes energy and she doesn't want to do that. She's lying. She wants to be lazy. She wants to be who whoever she is. Nobody wants to pretend to be something else. It takes a lot of time and energy and you have to keep the act up all the time. So she drops it as fast as she can. And then because she's loved on you so much and she's put this promise of, hey, I could be your dream woman. And this is what it feels like to have a dream woman. She dangles that in front of you. Then all of a sudden she's like, hey, you know what? I think I've got him. I think I've got him on the hook and I can pretty much do whatever I want. So she'll test the waters a little bit. She'll pick a fight. She'll say, yeah, I don't want to do that. And you're like, what? This is completely out of character for her. And then she just does this more and more and more. And then right when you are getting tired of it and you're like, I'm just done with this woman. Boom. She'll snap back and she'll be your perfect woman again to reel you back in. And she does this push pull on you over and over and over again. And you're like, oh, I don't understand. I don't know what kind of woman I'm going to get when I come home. I just want that awesome woman, but I don't know how to get that back. And that's how you know you're being manipulated. But what ends up happening over time, you get accustomed to this bad behavior. And before you know it, you're just starving for table scraps of any kind of attention. And you get lured in by this promise of, if I can just get back to the way it was, the way it was in the beginning, we can do it. I know it. Problem is, is that's not the woman you have. The woman you have right now in front of you is the woman you got. Not the woman back there five, two, ten years, 18 months ago. That's not that woman. Who you have today is who you have. And so you must deal with the person you have in front of you and do what you got to do with that information. Like this is who you got and this is what you got to do with this kind of person. And so most of the time coming up with boundaries, getting clear on who you are and what you want is intolerable for narcissism. Intolerable. You say, this is what I want. This is where I'm going. Either take it or leave it. They're like, what? No, what I want matters. What you want doesn't matter. You don't exist. I exist. And everything you do must be to serve me. And you're like, no, I serve myself and this is where I'm going to go. And then what'll happen is, is these boundaries will come out naturally and she'll start creating conflict with you cough like more and more and more and it'll just be intolerable for her to be with you she just won't be able to handle it and it's kind of funny because they lose their absolute mind when you do this but it also makes you powerful again and you have to let go of the fear of losing her you cannot ever fear losing a woman there's always another one there's always another the one there's lots of the ones and you get hooked on one of these narcissists they will do everything in their power to make you their slave